There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Now the longtime Patriot, it's LeGarrette Bourne. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. First carry for Amir Abdullah. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep is Philip Dorsett. <laughs> and he spins through. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Patriots take over. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing on first down is Brady. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A first carry down for Rex Burkhead. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing his Brady on third down. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. to throw again. Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Ezekiel Ansah. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. 
Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. My dad used to tell me all the time when you're going ready to play a big time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Lions will take over. So here come the Lions now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Stafford gives to Abdullah. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he's taken down, but not before he gets his end to enemy territory across the 40. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw down that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Let's go, Let's go. Set. 180. They'll run it now out of the gun. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Third and long, it's Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. I know every coach talks about respecting the ball, taking care of the ball. But when it's third and long like that, <laughs> your trigger man, he wants to make a play. And on that one, he's trying to force one downfield to make that play. It just didn't work out. Yeah, he tried to make the play. A little risky, but it fell incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. So the Patriots coming out now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll run it here. This is James White. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping 
those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Brady leaves to Burkhead on the draw. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Brady now to throw. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And they're going to get this one up to the 35-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the, the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Brady going to give this one to Burkhead. Twisting away. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. From the gun, it's Brady. And Matthews has it right side. And he gets it down to the 32. 13 yards there offset some of the penalty yardage as it's second down. Play fake for Burkhead, now Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. On second down, here's Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 
That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Wait, 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's got it. And he's brought down after a good game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. As the field starts to get condensed, the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover, but a well-run corner out there. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They'll try and pound it in with Burkhead. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? That's going to set them back five yards. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. Shotgun now for Brady. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Christian Jones in there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure. Sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got to him, and that just doesn't happen very often. It's a rarity. He's just such a veteran. His pocket presence so good. But, hey, tip of the cap to the D. Brady now on third and goal. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And Goskowski's kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Now that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. On the return, it's Washington. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They start the drive with Abdullah. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. The safety, Patrick Chung, is the one who makes the stop. 
Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. On second down, here's Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jones. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Stafford now on second down. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Stafford to Jones, enough for a Lion first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Stafford hands to Abdullah. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. back to him on first down and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair calling a loss of two on the play and it'll be second and 12. They'll try the air now with Stafford. A dump off for Abdullah. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It'll be a three-yard gain. And just like that, it's third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Throwing on third down, Stafford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw, trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. The drive starts with a run by White. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. 
Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Now Brady throwing on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Hey, Sean Robinson coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Operating from the gun, Brady, and he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. And a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from. And got his man complete! Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there! 73 yards! And the line Strike quickly here for six points. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Prater for the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Martin, the putter now, out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll run now with Burkhead. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Brady to throw on second down. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. 
from the gun. Brady looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Ten more there and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down. Brady is going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring up the third down. Brady going to throw. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. Brady now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Brady to throw again. And a dump off to White. And he'll go down at the 28. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Play 20! Play 20! Again, it's Brady. Goes underneath here to White, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. 
Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Wait, wait, 20. Wait, now Brady again. He hits Gronkowski on the out round. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, this from 37. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So out now come the Lions. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Lions in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And the decision to bring it out, a good one as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll run. This is Burkhead. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Right back to him on first down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Room here to run. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. New England on third down, five out of nine thus far. This time they face a third and two. Wait, 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, 
three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Burkhead. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Wait, 20! Brady now on first down. Steps away to his, and now a fumble. Brady loses the football, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, Lose the football, though. Should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again. Stafford. And to the left side here, Wilson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Stafford to the former Seahawk Wilson for Lions first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To the air again, Stafford. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. On first down, Abdullah. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. To throw on second down to Stanford. Caught on the right side by Jones. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Lions on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Set. They'll run here. Abdullah. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Four down, four down. Set. 
Now a play fake here on first down. Incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. <laughs> cold-blooded. <laughs> a second down run for Abdullah. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. On third down, Stafford. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. A CD looking back to last week, one interesting thing certainly was that tie between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. You know, that was the first week one tie since 1971. Yeah, I think our research tells that the Broncos and Dolphins tied 10 to 10. And remember, overtime was instituted by the NFL starting with the 1974 season. So this is unbelievable, those two teams tied. Cleveland was plus five in turnover margin, had their chances, and got a field goal blocked down the stretch that would have won the game. Yeah, Pittsburgh had a field goal late in OT2, and they missed it wide left. Where do you try again on second down? Allen's got it, over the middle. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Here's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Oh, heavy lion pressure here, and they block it. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. And a blocked punt always can be such a momentum swing. In a big way, because now the spark has been lit. Everyone gets involved with that team, and many times coaches preach, you block a punt, you block a kick, that usually leads to victory. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Stafford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. To throw on third down, Stafford, and that is incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. kick is on the money it's good and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6 so he missed that field goal earlier but he says not this time able to knock it through give his guys three i like his poise i like his confidence his belief in himself sometimes when you miss that first one 
You see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case, stepped right up like a pro. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at about the 32. This is Gillisley. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. New England on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This time, it's third and three. They stay on the ground with White. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. On second down, here's Brady. Slant route, caught by Edelman. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks Start moving. Fast. Start fast. Wait, 20. 380. On first down, Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Again, they'll throw with Brady. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down.
This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Shotgun now for Brady. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. A handoff to Abdullah. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Here's Stafford now on second down. His throw incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. And now it's third down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very there difficult. Go, go. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's Stafford. It's caught, Jones. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Back to the ground now. Here's Abdullah. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll lead here to a third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The left side completion to Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. On first down, Stafford here. He goes underneath to Abdullah. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner. 
Get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Play faked Abdullah. It's Stafford. This is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. In for the score. And the Lions add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point good by Prater, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Martin, the putter now, out to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. <laughs> the Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now Brady. And his throw here is incomplete. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And that'll bring up second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. And his throw's going to be incomplete. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And it'll bring up third down. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Brady. And he's going to be out of bounds right at the 40. Brady finding Hogan on third down, and the Patriots able to convert. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Wait 20! Wait 20! Go! Brady now on first down. The throw left side complete to Hogan. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. 20. Brady now on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Wait, 20! Now Brady again. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. By 20! By 20! Again, it's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. And Goskowski's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. On the return, Dwayne Washington. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big... And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. The shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And right now, I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Brady to throw on second down. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The 2017 All-Pro Darius Slay there in coverage, knocking it away. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up 
They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. My 20! My 20! My second! They'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Back to throw. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Back to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. If you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. Allen's got it over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Now Brady. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Back to throw. Brady. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. He was looking for Matthews that time. Charles, when plays like that work, it's a thing to behold, but sometimes we see why they're very deep in the playbook. And how many times have we been at practice and heard all the other guys chirping about, you know, I used to play quarterback in high school. I can do this until it becomes a game situation. Not quite the same in many cases. And they will take a knee here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And defensively, a dime look here. Six DBs on third and 12. No surprise at all. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this. And this is blocked. The Pats bring heat and they get home. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long. From